Hi everyone, welcome to Learn English with Miss. In today's lesson, we will learn how to write complete sentences. So let's get started. How to write sentences, a comprehensive guide. Step one, understand the basics. A sentence is a group of words expressing a complete thought. Every sentence has a subject, who or what, and a predicate, what's happening. Again, the subject is the who or what, and the predicate is what's happening. Let's look at an example. The sun is the subject, shines is the predicate. Now, this is a simple sentence. So, the sun is the subject, shines is the predicate. Step two, start simple. Begin with a subject and a verb to create a basic sentence. For example, she runs. Step three, add details. Make your sentence interesting by adding adjectives and adverbs. Example, she runs quickly in the park. Step four, types of sentences. Learn different types, statements, questions, commands, exclamations. Example statements, she runs quickly in the park. Example questions, and does she run quickly in the park? Example commands, run quickly in the park. Example exclamations, what a fast runner she is. Let's go through those examples again. Here is an example of a statement. She runs quickly in the park. An example of a question, does she run quickly in the park? Example commands, run quickly in the park. Example exclamations, what a fast runner she is. Step five, focus on the active voice. Use active voice for clear and direct sentences. Here's an example. She is the subject, runs is the verb. And we add another detail quickly in the park. So we took the sentence from before and we added a detail to it. Now let's revise that example sentence again. She runs quickly in the park. She runs quickly in the park. Step six, vary sentence length. Mix short and long sentences for rhythm and emphasis. Here's an example of a short sentence. She runs quickly. Now let's look at an example of a long sentence. The park, her favorite place, is where she runs quickly. Let's revise those examples again. The short sentence, she runs quickly. And now a longer sentence, the park, her favorite place is where she runs quickly. So far, are you with me? Let me know in the comment section how you are doing so far. Step seven, punctuation matters. Use punctuation for clarity and structure. An example of a statement, she runs quickly in the park. An example of a question, does she run quickly in the park? Command, run quickly in the park. Example of an exclamation, what a fast runner she is. Step eight, engage with openings. Start with attention grabbing openings. Let's look at an example of an attention grabbing opening. Have you ever seen someone run as fast as the wind? 
Sometimes asking a question helps to grab the reader's attention. Let's go over that example one more time. Have you ever seen someone run as fast as the wind? Try it next time for any of your writing pieces. Step nine, build suspense. Adjust sentence structure to create suspense. Here's an example. She glanced over her shoulder. Was someone following her? Again, let's read that example. She glanced over her shoulder. Was someone following her? Step 10, use analogies. Enhance sentences with analogies to simplify ideas. Here's an example. Learning grammar is like solving a puzzle. So far, we went over 10 steps. Pause the video, take out your notebook, and write some of your own sentences. Be sure to refer back to step one and all the way through step 10 and practice your writing. I hope you had some time to practice. Let's go over a few more steps. Step 11. Dialogue Dynamics Incorporate dialogue to bring sentences to life. Here's an example. She said, I love running in the park. Let's look at that example again. She said, I love running in the park. Dialogues deal with conversations. So when we mentioned she said, and then we put what she said in quotation, we are using dialogue in our sentences. Step 12, effective conclusions. Wrap up ideas with a concluding sentence. Let's look at an example. After a refreshing run, she headed home. After a refreshing run, she headed home. Step 13, practice and feedback. Regularly practice writing sentences. I'll give you an example of how you can do that. Describe your favorite activity in a sentence. Feedback example, share with a friend and ask for thoughts. Step 14, embrace your voice. Develop your unique writing style. And let me tell you how you can do that. Try different techniques and discover what works for you. So today we focused on writing engaging sentences and we practiced writing complete sentences. Thank you for watching and learning with me. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.